What's up guys, it's Bryson here from Nerf Stars and More, doing a, a review or overview of the Nerf and Strike Elite Strongarm. Let's get in with it. Um, this is a little really cool six shot um, rotating cylinder gun. Um, it's in the in Strike Elite line, Strongarm and Strike Elite. Um, claiming ranges of 75 feet, this is the blue and white version. I picked this up for $2 at my local Goodwill. Well, 25 minutes away Goodwill, but um, um, these are retailing for about 11 to, um, well, $9 to $15 US. I don't know about Canada, I think about 17 up there. This comes in Sonic Fire, Elite XD, and um, the regular Elite, which I really like this version more than any of the others. Let's get right into it. Um, at the front, this is not an in-strike attachment point, so you cannot add your barrels. Here's your rotating barrel, and just to be clear, it rotates after you shoot it, so rotate. It's not like the Maverick where each time you pull the trigger it rotates. This is your um, barrel release, so you pull that and your barrel comes out and you can supposedly do a rapid fast reload and then just put it back in. Um, there's strong arm, the nice cosmetics, I really like it. Here's a tactical rail at the, up at the top and an um, iron sight that corresponds to this one. There's a tactical rail for scopes, I brought out my modulus scope because it's really modular and I like it. And it looks pretty cool, but um, if you want to be able to uh, holster it, you really need to just not have that scope on there. Um, I really like the looks of this. I like that. Um, this is actually, uh, well, I'll get down to the trigger. Nothing abnormal. Just feels like any other strong arm. But this does feel like it definitely defeats the Maverick, and it does. And Strike Elite. The handle, I can gripe about this. Why, why do that? They have it on the Fire Strike. They have it on here. It's just annoying. Do not do that. Stick with the towel eater handles. Sling mount here, sling mount here. Um, s yeah, so you can put that there and you can go and just strap it back on your back when you're done with it. Um, this is actually your priming handle. To prime, you'll do that. And there's little ridges here where you're supposed to prime. There's your priming indicator. If it's orange, that means you're primed. And um, a lot of my friends have been doing this. They've been pocketing my blasters and leaving them with that. And that priming bar means it's primed. That means there's a spring compressed to about that back in there. That is horribly bad for the blaster, leaving it primed like that. Because um, it cannot... It, it compresses so much that it has no power left. And that's horrible for your blaster. Um, so let's see what the ranges are. That's an excellent 35 shot foot shot. I'm sitting down about 45, 40. That was about a 60 foot shot. Same thing, 60. Let's see if I can, uh, if I can break 75 like they advertised. That's about 65. Let me reload and see if I can break it using angled shots. And um, all of Nerf's projected um, ranges are all angled. There's no way you're going to hit um, 90 feet with a stock retaliator. Yes, that broke 75 that time. Nope. Definitely that time. That was about actually 90 feet. Same thing. So it's getting in the middle of about 90 and 75. And this is the same thing as the Elite XD. They just claim larger ranges. Yep, same. So um, I definitely prefer this. Um, I might take a hammer shot over this, but I really like it. I definitely um, would pick one up. And um, for indoor wars, this thing will, you will wreck. You might wreck better with two hammer shots, but um, I definitely like the six round cylinder. And if and if for you modders out there, just remove those dart posts and you can work Stefans and slugs with it. So I definitely recommend this. This is my overall opinion review and more honest review. I like the honest viewpoint. And um, as I said in my um my um what dual strike mod guide that we're moving workshops, yes, Nerf and more is moving workshops. So um Bryce. One more thing about the strong arm, this thing has slam fire, so if you hold down the trigger and pull, you get an 
an ultra fast rate of fire, which is really awesome. And I really like that about indoor CQB and HVZ. So definitely pick one up, recommend it. Number two pistol on the market after the hammer shot. That's my review. I really like this. I'd give it an A. Um, pick one up. Bye guys.